So hello everybody, this is uh, an interview for the uh, Open Social API blog and uh, today with us in uh, sunny San Francisco we have uh, Lynn Fisher from uh, Last FM. Yes, that's why I'm wearing the sunglasses. <laughs> so, Different from the London climate. So how do you like California, Lynn? California is amazing and it's wonderful to be in the city and the valley. I actually went to the Google campus yesterday which is very, very impressive. So it's been a great trip so far. Cool. And speaking to everybody about open social, so we're really excited to be a part of it. And I'm um, excited that we're learning more and more about it and that we actually have a live gadget now on the Ning network. Um, and it's called My Favorite Music. So tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. Um, so My Favorite Music allows you to have uh, expression of your musical tastes by either what you've been listening to if you're a last FM user and also a way to choose your favorite artist and have a visual representation of those by thumbnail pictures so it's very much a way for social someone who's a part of a social network to have self-expression about their musical tastes it also works if you're not a last FM member and it will pre-populate the gadget with some of our top listened to artists. So we have over 20 million users and we have lots of great data on what people are listening to. So we drop from that, and, but a user can easily choose to edit it and choose their own artists so that they can have their own self-expression. And the other nice um, part of it is that, which really kind of showcases what Last.fm is about, is that from the artists that I highlight, I can choose, let's say Radiohead is one of my favorite artists, which they are. Um, I can choose Radiohead and I will be taken to the Last FM site to be able to listen to similar artists. Which is really the beauty of Last FM is that there's the music discovery, music recommendation, not only on artists, but events, other people who like similar artists, uh, musical tastes, uh, different groups that like, sunny San Francisco. <laughs> um, so it really kind of uh, showcases in uh, maybe kind of in a light version of what the Last FM offering is to both a user and a non-user. So we feel like it's a great first step in taking advantage of what open social can offer, um, both on an application side um, and showcasing it from a container side and what Ning is, is being able to do. Excellent. So tell me a little bit more about Last FM as a container. Do you have any plans related to that? Because you, you have a social site as well. We do. We do have a social site around music. Um, so, so people can connect around, again, their musical preferences or events that they're going to or groups they're associated with. So we're certainly looking into what that would mean for a Last FM user and a container. We really think that there are lots of great opportunities there um, and again as we all know it's still early stages but we're definitely exploring that as a possibility for last fm excellent yeah uh, one last question sure. what, what did you find uh, easy and difficult in the open social api where would you like to see it evolve you know and i'm not um, a developer uh, i'm a, from the business development side in last fm but um, what we did find is that what is great is that it uses um, standard web technologies, HTML and JavaScript. So we were, it was fairly easy to take components that we already have available on our site and make them available through open social, which is not necessarily the case with other open APIs out there. So we felt like, wow, this is tremendous. And we've already started to use it on other container sites, you know, just in, on the sandbox and, and see that it's a working version. So to us, it's um, refreshing. And okay, Lynn, thanks very much yeah. for, uh, for this interview and uh, I wish you uh, a good trip in uh, Silicon Valley. Thank you, Patrick, this is great. Thanks.